Hello, Christoph. Christoph Triebel is our expert for powertrain system. And I'm curious what he has new for us in his area. Yeah, Christoph, uh, I know modeling efficiency is a, is a huge topic to make work more efficient and to not spend too much time in modeling. I heard there are many new things in this area on powertrain system area. Yes, that's right. Thank you, Oliver. Yeah, for this uh, area, we rearranged our generators and wizards in Cruise M. We now have a so-called efficiency portal to have an easy and good overview access to all of our generators and wizards. Now we really have more than 20 of these little helpers in Cruise M to make the work easy and to have a guided workflow in Cruise M. As you know, the generators are there to create models, to help the user to set up different models of the complete powertrain or a battery or other components. And for the wizards, they are there for parameterizing the components. And as I mentioned, it's now new arranged. You have also good overviews, good summaries of all these generators and wizards to easily step in and to start work without wasting time. Good. Is there also something new in this efficiency portal? Yeah, especially for the applications in the thermal domain. Here we have a new um, CAD importer. And this CAD importer is there for creating a piping, a cooling circuit automatically in Cruise M by just loading an existing CAD data. This is an automatized workflow. You just have to select the CAD model and you're guided then through a workflow to automatically create the appropriate Cruise M model out of this. I also brought an example today with me. So we can now see how this um, CD importer is selected. We can then uh, select which CD model we want to import. And then the CD model is um, introduced in shape. It's a technology we are also using in our Fire M domain. So here we are using knowledge we already um, created within AVL. And here in a so called staging process, we can select which parts of the piping we want to import into Cruise M. We can also see that we can manipulate the piping. So to extend or reduce different parts of these um, geometries, we can also select where the inlet and outlet boundaries should be. And then also combine components together to assemblies to have a better overview than in the um, created Cruise M model. Now we can see that we can also select, of course, the fluid of, um, which is flowing through the piping and also the boundary conditions. And after that, the Cruise M model is then created automatically, combining the parts which we um, selected before to have a good overview of this new created piping uh, cooling circuit in Cruise M. This looks really great. Uh, it's it's uh, impressive. Uh, so VTMS modeling is something very much important. So when we think about electrified powertrains, uh, cooling system, HVAC system, uh, uh, have a much stronger focus. Uh, and, and one of the, the things which are always under discussion are the heat exchangers. There are a lot of, of heat exchangers from the cooling system, from the VLA system. And the parameterization is uh, sometimes a, a topic which is, is heavily discussed. Uh, is there something new which is helping also setting up heat exchanger models? Yes, exactly. Also in this regard, we have something new in Cruise M. As you mentioned, it's very important to consider the thermal management already early in the concept phase. For some users, this domain is new and they are really struggling with how to create the performance maps, how to create the losses of the heat exchangers. And also in this regard, we have a little helper, the heat exchanger wizard. This is a tool which creates performance maps just made out of some geometry details the user has to um, select. Here I also um, have a short video prepared so we can select this heat exchanger wizard 
And then by just selecting some geometry inputs, so the dimensions, of course, of the heat exchanger have to be known we want to model. We also, of course, have to be aware of the design of the heat exchanger we want to model. And if this um, input is done, we can also um, include the boundary conditions, here selecting also the um, units we want to um, be visible. And after that, we can then select which results we want to see um, of this calculation. So here some results are selected and after that immediately the results are shown. So here we can really see the performance of the um, heat exchanger. We can see the, the Reynolds numbers and get a better understanding of how the heat exchanger is performing. And after that, the model is then created automatically. We can also see here some details about the um, flow, the, the losses of the heat exchanger. Um, in this video. So Christoph, I see this new wizard helps to set up new heat exchanger from scratch and, and helps to make the, the modeling much more efficient. Do we also have something new with respect to new types of heat exchangers? Yes, we also extended the list of heat exchangers in Cruise M. And for the multiport extruded tube heat exchanger, the so-called MPET heat exchanger, here we also have now a new wizard in Cruise M. This wizard helps to parameterize the embed heat exchanger in Cruise M based on measurement data. So in contradiction to the wizard we have seen here, where only geometry is necessary to create performance maps, we have now the possibility for the embed heat exchangers to tune them and to fit them based on measurement data. Here only some geometry inputs are necessary, the measurement data which were done before. And then with a guided workflow by using this um, wizard, the MPET heat exchanger in Cruise M is then um, parameterized to fit to the measurements. We talked now a lot about uh, thermal systems and heat exchangers. Uh, what else is new in this uh, release now? Yeah, also for the electrical circuits, here we have something new. It's the so-called electrical FMU. That's the FMU, which is directly linked into the electrical circuit to use here existing e-motor or battery models from the user. He can um, insert them directly then into the electrical circuits to be used then automatically as an FMU in this um, circuit. That sounds great. So a long list of new things for our users. Uh, thank you for this introduction. And I think uh, our users can look forward to try these things by themselves. Thank you very much.